सूत्रधार में सुनते हैं पंचतंत्र की कहानिया शत्रुर विक्रमम ज्ञातवा वैरमार भते ही सपराभव आपनोती समुद्र भात्य था Near the shore of the sea lived a couple. The couple were Titihari birds, and the female Titihari was ready to lay eggs. She asked the male Titihari to find a quiet place where she could lay eggs. The male Titihari said, "How beautiful this beach is! You can lay eggs here." The female Titihari said. The tide that comes on the full moon is so big that it can take away the big elephants. Please quickly find some other place. But the male Titihari said, "You are right. But this ocean has no power to harm my children. You can definitely lay eggs here." The ocean heard the couple's conversation and thought, "Ha! Imagine the pride This bird has. It sleeps with its legs up to support the night sky. Let me test its strength. Thinking so, the sea became stable, and the female Titihari laid eggs on the shore. The very next day, when the Titihari couple was gone in search of food, the tide came, and he carried away the eggs. When both the birds came back, not seeing their eggs. The female Titihari bursted in anger. Oh fool! I told you that my eggs will be destroyed in the tide of the sea. That's why I asked you to search for a place somewhere far away to lay eggs. But you did not listen to me because of your stupidity and arrogance. To this, the male Titihari said, "My dear, Don't you worry. I will dry this sea and bring our eggs back from it. Thinking this, Titihari called all his friends, cranes, ducks, peacocks, etc., and told them, "Friends, this sea has taken away my eggs. I need your help to get back our eggs by drying this ocean." After listening to Titihari, all the birds advised We are just little birds in comparison to the sea. So what is the use of making such a futile effort? Our god is Garuda Dev. We should all go to him and speak our mind. He will definitely help us. So all the birds went to Garuda Dev and said, "Master, misfortune has fallen on us. The sea for no reason took away the eggs of Titihari." How can the ocean do such a thing with a mighty master like you by our side? Hearing this, Garur Dev said, "You are right. I will go and dry that ocean right now." Just as Dev was leaving, that very moment the messenger of Bhagwan Vishnu came and said to Garur Dev, "Oh Garuda, God has sent me to you. He has to go to Amravati for work." You need to go soon. To this, Garur Dev said, "Messenger, I am forever his devotee. But what will God do with a useless servant like me? Please tell Shri Vasudev to take someone else instead of me." The baffled messenger said, "Hey, Garur, what has happened to you?" Why are you talking about such things? To this, Garur Dev replied, "If the ocean is not punished, I will not serve the Lord." The messenger went and told the whole thing to Shri Hari. Garur is right. I will do the task of drying up the ocean myself and bring the eggs back. Saying this, Vishnu ji reached Rukmapur. the city of lord garudev 
Seeing the Shri Hari, Garud bowed with respect and said, "The ocean, which has your shelter, has insulted me by taking the eggs of my servant. Because of the respect I have for you, I have not done anything till now. Otherwise, I would have dragged the ocean to some place else." Hearing the words of Garud Dev, the Lord said. O oh, Garud your words are absolutely true let's take the eggs back from the sea and give them to titihari and then we both will go to amravati together saying this the murari aimed the fire arrows on his divine bow and said o oh, evil spirited return the eggs of this titihari at this very moment otherwise i will dry up the water at this very moment then the scared sea returned the eggs of titihari so that is why it is said my dear friends that the war should not be waged without knowing the strength of the enemy na, 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 na.